Well, the Hot Springs Police Department knows there is no way to prepare an officer enough for a deadly threat that they could face on any given day. The reality comes, unfortunately, after one of their own, Corporal Brent Scrimshire, was killed in the line of duty more than a year ago. As Claire Kreit shows us, they now have a new type of training made possible thanks to the community. It's called the laser shot, and it puts officers here at the Hot Springs Police Department through real-life active shooter situations. From making split decisions, working on reaction time. Sir, drop the gun. The Hot Springs Police Department has a new piece of equipment that trains officers for any and every call. It's uh, nerve-wracking. I mean, you get nervous just like anything else because you don't know what to expect. Corporal Jesus Anaya goes through some of the more than 900 scenarios in the simulator called laser shot. Simple alarm calls to robbery to um, to domestics, so a lot of the stuff that we typically see. Making the training as realistic as possible. Anaya says one of the best parts of this technology. And when I shoot, it'll show where my shot hit. The officers get feedback right after each situation. Well, you'll know right away, hey, did I make the right call or did I mess up? What, is, what do we need to learn from this? Along with making officers better each time they run through a scenario. So there's just a variety of ways we can use it internally for constant training to allow our officers to stay at the top of their game. Chief Chris Chapman says it holds a deeper meaning because it was bought for the department by an organization called Back the Blue 176, named after Corporal Brent Scrimshire, the Hot Springs police officer killed in the line of duty. What a great legacy uh, for the Scrimshire family and for our officers. Each time an officer steps up to the screen, it's a reminder of what can happen on the job and continues the legacy of their brother in blue. And it's a great thing to, to see his name live on. It can also be used for community events to show people what it's like to be the one behind the badge. Reporting in Hot Springs, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you.